what is up everyone movie we're back again with another blu-ray and 4k update it does exactly what it says on the tin it's just me showing off all the movies that i've bought over the past few weeks i say past few weeks it's been a bit over a month actually since my last one but i'll try and get that shortened down for the next one and get back to a few weeks i don't know why it's took me this long it just has but i've got a stack of about 15 movies here and a couple of video games which i'll show at the end but before i get into that i just want to show off this little beauty now this was drawn by my friend Tony Riley and he has an Instagram page which I will leave the link down below but look at that, that is absolutely fantastic as soon as I seen it I knew I had to have it and I wanted to support him as well but this is going to go in a nice frame next time I go to Ikea and pick some frames up just absolutely fantastic, look at that amazing, Tony what an artist you are my friend now he does have a few of these prints really He's got a Michael Myers one, a Patrick Bateman one from American Psycho, obviously. I think it's Patrick Bateman <laughs> um, from American Psycho. He's got loads and he only charges £10 for these, you know, plus delivery. But I just think it's so worth it. If you want a nice little drawing for your um, your video, uh, your movie room or whatever there. But thank you so much, Tony. Love it, mate. And I can't wait to get it framed and put it on the wall. And... There's his little signature in the bottom corner there. I don't know if you can see it. But I will leave Tony's Instagram down below if you want to check out his drawings and you can get prints available there. But absolutely amazing drawing from a movie that I absolutely adore. One of my favourite films of all time, even though it only came out last year. So what a drawing this is. Tony, you are very talented, my friend, and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. So that is a drawing from Tony Riley. Some of you might know him from Sinister Movie Reviews. I'll leave his channel link down below as well. But he shows a lot more on his Instagram and stuff. So I'll leave his channel and Instagram down below. So let's just get into the movies that I bought over the past few weeks or months, should I say. And we'll start with the 4Ks. Now, I did show, off, show this off in my end of month vlog where they talk about all the movies I watch but I'll just show it again because I did buy it in the past few weeks and that is The Gentleman my favorite movie of 2020 so far Guy Ritchie you know obviously made Lockstock and Snatch but I think this stands toe to toe with them movies I might even like this better honestly I love this film if you haven't seen it please check it out because it's absolutely hilarious but so cleverly done as well um What's his name? Hugh Grant is fantastic in this film. I've never seen Hugh Grant in this type of role before, and he was absolutely brilliant. He blew me away, took me by surprise, but the whole cast is amazing. And it's just a really, really good story. And Matthew McConaughey, you know, he has this big weed empire, this big man marijuana, marijuana <laughs> empire, and he wants to sell it off for a pretty big price and get out the business, but a lot of people want to get in there and, you know, sort of get their own piece of what he's got without sort of paying them basically or trying to rip off the buyers and stuff like that i won't go too much into it but it's a really really clever and well done film i highly highly recommend this next up is another brilliant movie from 2019 on 4k and that is knives out um mystery movie by i forgot the ryan johnson <laughs> a lot of people don't like him because of the last jedi but he can direct the movie because this just shows it expertly well put together another great cast here like you know like the gentleman got jamie lee curtis tony collette daniel craig's brilliant in this and he's doing an american accent and it's kind of maybe a bit weird watching it when he was doing this accent at first but you soon get used to it he, he is brilliant in this film and you know i forgot the girl's name but she's the new bond girl i think and she was absolutely fantastic in this i forgot it might be anna the Armas, it might be that I can't remember, but this is a really, really good who done it movie. And I love films like this where you're guessing all the way through the film. Eh, sort of did see the ending coming a little bit, but I thought it was a really, really fun movie, and I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Next up is a movie I haven't seen. There's, there's a few here I haven't seen, but I have seen about half of them at least. This is another 2019 movie that I got on 4K. I love the first one, but I didn't get the chance to see this at the cinemas. If I was doing this channel at the time, I would have made sure I went to see it. But that is Zombieland Double Tap. I'm really looking forward to this. I think I'm going to watch it over the weekend. 
Um, because, like I said, I love the first one, and this just looks like more of a the same, you know, pretty fun zombie comedy, horror comedy movie. Woody Harrelson is fantastic in the first one. I just love him. So I'm hoping for more of that from him here. And I've heard that there's more characters getting introduced into this and stuff, but a few of my friends have seen it, said they really, really liked it, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Next up, is this a 2019 movie? It might be 2018, but that is Creed 2. Um, I just, I've just wanted this for a while now, just to complete my Rocky collection. I did go to the cinemas to see this, and I really liked the, you know, the whole Drago story, you know, how Russia doesn't like him for losing against Rocky, so his son, he's gearing his son up now to win back some pride into the family and to the country, and his son is a mountain of a man, and he has to take on Michael B. Jordan's character Creed, who is now the world champion, with Rocky in his corner, of course. It's a really, really good sequel, I feel, to a spin-off I had no hopes for. But that was a really good one, the first one. And this is a good little follow-up. I would be up for Creed 3, but maybe they could also leave it as well at that. But, you know, Sylvester Stallone, no, he will always bring a franchise back, won't he? He's done it a few times now. This is a really, really good sequel if you like the first one and you haven't seen it. Next up is another fairly recent movie from the last couple of years. i just seen this cheap in CEX and I really liked it. This is more of a Marmite movie, although a lot of people don't like this. And that is Venom with Tom Hardy and... And i just seen this floating down the street like a turd in the wind. <laughs> oh, I'm not really. I've seen it in CEX. But <laughs> I, I thought this was a really, really funny film, actually. I was laughing all the way through it, especially the second half of the movie where Venom comes into play. I thought it was a good little story, you know, not too groundbreaking, not an amazing or anything like that, but a fun enough film. And I, I know there's something happens at the end where... I forgot the, the other character's name, but I think it's Woody Harrison who plays him in the post-credits where it sets it up for a sequel, and I would be down for that. But that is Venom. This is a movie I surprisingly have never seen, and I did like the first one. I didn't love it as much as most people, but I've been meaning to pick this up for a while, and I can't believe I haven't seen this. And that is Deadpool 2. I've heard this is a really, really good sequel. I think I'm going to like this more than the first, going by what I've heard and stuff, but you never know. Uh, this is like a super cut or something. It's like got four or five discs in there. It was really cheap as well from CEX, so I picked it up on 4K, but I just haven't seen it yet. I'm really looking forward to watching it. Got some... That and Zombieland, I'm really looking forward to there. This one, a lot of people picked this up this month, and I've always wanted to see this movie after I watched the Batman documentary. And this is... The man who laughs and Bob Kane was inspired to do the Joker villain from this character here. There's a slipcase, I'll just show you them there. Um, because the way he smiles and stuff. It's got a nice little booklet inside. You know, you see the disc there. Nice little booklet. But yeah, a movie I'm really looking forward to watching. Uh, I think I'm going to have to maybe... Watch this on my own. I'm not sure if my fiance will fancy this one, but I might just wake up one early on a sun one day on a Sunday early and just throw it on. It's a silent movie. This is now the the oldest movie I own, I believe. I think it's 1927 or 1928. And the one that was oldest before that was Dracula in the you know the horror Universal Monsters collection. But I've heard good things about this, and because it was inspired. You know, for the Joker character in the Batman comics, I've always wanted to see it since then. And I'm glad Eureka brought this one out. It's a nice little addition. I'm looking forward to watching this. I thought this was a bit of a horror film, but I've heard it's not. So, yeah. Next up is Train to Busan. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. My best friend Jamie's always telling me to watch it. I spoke to Lauren's collection about it, and she was saying it's a really good film. And the second one is out at the end of the month, I believe, so looking forward to checking this out. I think I might be watching this tonight, just never seen it, but heard great things. And I love a good zombie film, and I've heard this is actually one of the best zombie films ever made by some people, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a horror revisited on this, where I review all the horror movies, and I think I might do a review on this one um, in time for the second one, and I'll go and see the second one as well. 
Next up is a movie I love and I've seen it really cheap and I just thought December's round the corner so I'm going to grab it and that is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love this movie. I watch it every Christmas. Uh, Chevy Chase is so funny in this. It's just a really, really good film and I love it where he... He puts like the, the spray on a sled so he can go faster and just shoots down a hill like a rocket. <laughs> so funny. There's so many funny moments. It's a good, feel good Christmas movie. And I, I just love it. I do. It's a re it's one of my favourites. One that I watch up every year, like I said. So I think most of you might have seen this one. But if you haven't, definitely watch this at Christmas time because it's it's got all them feel good moments in there. Next up is a movie I've been trying to get for a while and I ordered it a few times and it was sold out but I finally got it and that is The Cable Guy with Jim, Jim Carrey in. Now I remember hating this back at the time because I thought this was going to be a really funny film because Jim Carrey was doing like The Mask and stuff and Liar Liar and stuff like that so I thought oh this will be a funny film and he's quite more se on the serious side than this. There is funny moments in it but it's not that type of Jim Carrey from what I remember. But I watched it a few years ago and I grew to appreciate it a little bit more. So I just thought I watched it in the collection really and now I have it. Next up is a movie I have hardly any memories about at all. And since I got that Stephen King book that I've showed off a few times, I just want to pip up some Stephen King movies. And that is Misery. And I watched it through YouTubers coincidentally talk about this movie in the last month or something some horror youtubers that i were watching possessed by horror and the other one was cody leach and they were just talking about this and for some reason i just thought i need to get that in my collection so them two coincidentally talking about it plus me trying to get all these stephen king movies has led me to this and i'm looking on checking this out this month and maybe doing a horror visit on this one as well um because it is October at the minute, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I do remember that scene where she sledgehammers his legs, but apart from that, I can't really remember much else about it. I think Kathy Bates might have won Best Actress for this, or she was nominated. Um, yeah, Academy Award winning Best Actress, Kathy Bates, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Next up is my friend Adrian in work told me about this and I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. And that is Mortal Kombat Scorpion Revenge. And I didn't know too much about it. He just said that it's a really violent cartoon and that I'd like it. And then I read the back and this is basically Sub-Zero killing Scorpion's family, I think. And then he is made into Scorpion to get revenge on Sub-Zero. And it's only 80 minutes long. So this is another one like The Man Who Laughs, which I'll probably get up one morning and just watch on my own. I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Uh, I love Mortal Kombat. I like the film. I like the game. So I'm looking forward to this one. Next up is a movie I bought because I was doing a collaboration with Andy about the 80s. And that is Highlander. I spoke about this on my end of month vlog video. Um, I'll leave that below if you want to check it out because I did watch it last month. It was okay. I, I, there were some moments I didn't like in this movie. I'm not going to lie. But there was some moments that I thought, oh yeah, that's just straight out the 80s there. Christopher Lambert, really, really weird in this, but he's basically, you know, immortal, basically, and he has been living for years, you know, like, kind of like the movie The Old Guard, if you check that out on Netflix, but this is, like, me in the 80s, obviously. Um, and he, he was, like, it sometimes takes place in 1500 Scotland and stuff, and then all the way up to New York in the present day, and... There can only be one or more also. He's always got to battle these other immortals, stuff like that. It's a bit of a mad one, but that is Highlander. I think most of you might have seen that one. Now, this Daryl Haynes, who is one of my subscribers, will be very happy that I picked this up because he was on at me to watch it for a long time. And that is The Fall of the Essex Boys. And because he kept asking me to watch it and do a little mini review on it, I watched it a few months ago and I did talk about it in my end of month vlog for a couple of months ago. And I was quite surprised. I actually quite liked it. The Fall of the Essex Boys. The acting weren't great, but it was a good little story about the Essex murders. And I love Rise of the Foot Soldier, so this is another little take on it there. The acting weren't as good as Rise of the Foot Soldier, obviously, but it was still a fun film. I quite liked it. And this is really, really cheap, so I just thought, you know what, I'm having that. That is The Fall of the Essex Boys. If you're into Rise of the Foot Soldier, you might like this. Next up is Before I Go to Sleep, another one I talked about in the end of the month vlog, 
I'd seen this really cheap at a car boot sale and thought, you know what, I've come here, I haven't bought nothing, and I just thought, I'm going to have that for the pound. <laughs> and this is basically Nicole Kidman wakes up every day and she can't remember the last day, kind of like 50, first dates with Adam Sandler and what the hell's her name? <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Um, kind of like that, but more on the thriller side of things, more serious. And she can't trust the husband and the doctor she speaks to and all that because she doesn't know if they're lying to her and stuff. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but could have been better. And that is it for the movies, guys. And I'll just show quickly some games I bought. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Day 1 purchase for me. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 is in my top 5 games of all time. And I've never really played 1 and 2. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to grab this because I haven't played a Tony Hawk game for about 10 years. 15 years even and it's really really good highly recommend this if you if you did like tony hawk back in the day and uh, it's just really easy to pick up and very very addictive and i also got super mario 3d all stars on the nintendo switch nintendo said they were making just a few of these so i just grabbed it i think it might be sold out now actually but it's got Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, which I've never played, and Super Mario Galaxy, which is a fantastic game. I'm looking forward to delving into these, but I'm still finishing Luigi, Luigi's Mansion off. And that is it, guys, for my Blu-ray and 4K update. Hopefully, I'll have another one a bit sooner than the last. Well, a bit sooner than this one. <laughs> a bit sooner than the last, and, you know, in a few weeks' time, basically. But that is all the movies I've bought. What did you think of them? Let me know in the comments. I'll reply to every single one of you. I promise. If you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. Take it all easy, guys. And I'll see you in all the next video.